Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston. Today is Wednesday, November the 6th, 2013, and this is Space Station Live. Expedition 37 crew continues to work on a variety of research and space station uh, maintenance activities today, as well as to prepare for the launch and same day arrival of the Expedition 38 crews that will be joining them tomorrow. Here in Mission Control, the flight director on duty today is Scott Stover, and Christy Bertels is the spacecraft communicator, uh, uh, talking with the crew along with some help from Hal Getzelman. On board the International Space Station, uh, we have NASA astronauts Karen Nyberg and Mike Hopkins, along with the uh, Expedition 37 crew commander, Russian Fyodor Yoshikin, and his uh, Russian colleagues, Oleg Kotov and Sergei Rozansky. Uh, also on board is Luca Parmitano of the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. They are uh, getting ready for the uh, arrival tomorrow morning of uh, NASA's Rick Mastracchio uh, and uh, Roscosmos' Mikhail Turin and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's Koichi Wakata, who will later become the first Japanese commander of the orbiting outpost uh, when they head up to the International Space Station and uh, join with the existing six crew members to bring the total number of humans in orbit to nine for the first time since October 2009, uh, later tomorrow. Crew on board uh, the space station uh, continuing to prepare for a spacewalk uh, that's uh, planned for Saturday to make preparations outside the station for a future Russian research module and to display an Olympic torch that will be arriving aboard the Soyuz carrying Mastrakio, Turin, and Wakata. Mike Hopkins spent uh, much of his day uh, working on the body measurements experiment, which is aimed at collecting anthropometric data using digital still and video imagery, as well as tape measures and uh, other devices to measure segmental length, height, depth, and circumference data for all of the body parts, uh, both before, during, and after flight. And he did so with some help from his colleague, Karen Nyberg. Nyberg, uh, Parmitano, and Yershikin also talk with Russian flight controllers on the ground about their upcoming departure from the International Space Station and continue to do a lot of work uh, packing up the Soyuz and uh, uh, getting all of their last-minute items ready to go home. Karen Nyberg also worked on the in-space experiment with the microgravity science glove box. Uh, that uh, experiment works with colloidal uh, uh, materials that can be affected by uh, magnetic fields. Colloids are those uh, types of liquids that have solids suspended within them. Pramitano also took part in the biological rhythms experiment, which studies the effect of long-term microgravity exposure on the uh, heart and cardiac uh, autonomic functioning. Uh, he was analyzed during a 48-hour-long electrocardiogram. Fyodor Yershikin, Nolokotov, and Sergei Rozansky reviewed the procedures uh, for the arrival of the Soyuz TMA-11M carrying uh, Mastrakio, Turin, and Wakata. Uh, and Kotov and Rozansky also reviewed procedures for their spacewalk on Saturday and took a lo out, look out the windows to review their uh, spacewalk translation paths and work zones as they get ready for that excursion. Meanwhile, in Kazakhstan, on their last day before launch, Mastrakia, Wakata, and Turin attended the Russian Crew Readiness State Commission ceremony and participated in a final press conference. Uh, they're going to be awakened about 1.45 p.m. Central Time today to begin their launch day activities with launch schedule for 10.14 p.m. Central Time tonight, which will actually be 10.14 a.m. Baikonur time on Thursday. We have a full set of NASA television coverage coming up today and tomorrow for that launch. Launch coverage begins at 9.15 p.m. and a launch, of course, expected at 10.14 p.m. On Thursday at 3.45 a.m., we'll begin our Soyuz docking coverage uh, with docking planned at 4.31 a.m. And then we'll begin our Soyuz hatch opening coverage at 6.15 a.m. with the uh, Soyuz hatch opening expected at 6.40 a.m. And then our uh, Expedition 38 docking and hatch opening video file will be coming to you at 8 a.m. And then we'll revamp, take another look at all of that activity tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time on our regular Space Station Live program. 
with that, everything going is going on very well aboard the International Space Station. The crew very busy. Uh, the station uh, continuing to orbit 250 miles above the surface of the planet, uh, traveling at 17,500 miles an hour, uh, circling the globe once every 90 minutes. This is Mission Control Houston.